Is your iPad screen not responding? It can be incredibly annoying when your device suddenly stops working, especially when you need it the most. Don't worry, this is a common problem that many iPad users face. You're not alone, and there are solutions to get your device back to normal. We can try a few easy fixes to get it working again. Sometimes a simple restart can do wonders, but there are other methods to consider as well. A frozen iPad screen can be frustrating. It can disrupt your workflow, entertainment, and even communication. It prevents you from using your favorite apps and features. Whether you're trying to watch a video, send an email, or play a game, a frozen screen can be a major hindrance. When your touch screen is unresponsive, it doesn't react to your touch. This can make it seem like your iPad is completely useless. This means you can't tap, swipe, or zoom. All the usual gestures that make your iPad so intuitive and easy to use are suddenly unavailable. This guide will help you troubleshoot the issue. We'll walk you through several steps that can help resolve the problem, from simple resets to more advanced solutions. Let's get your iPad back in tip-top shape. Follow these simple steps and you'll be back to using your device in no time. Stay tuned and let's fix that frozen screen together. Sometimes a simple restart can fix software glitches. It's a quick and effective way to resolve minor issues that might be causing your device to act up. This is the easiest solution to try first. Before diving into more complex troubleshooting steps, a restart can often do the trick. It only takes a few seconds. A quick restart can refresh your device's memory and clear out any temporary bugs. To restart your iPad, press and hold the top button. This button is usually located on the top edge of your device. Do this until you see the slide to power off option appear on your screen. This indicates that your iPad is ready to be turned off. Slide the button to turn off your iPad. Wait about 30 seconds. This ensures that the device has completely powered down. Press the top button again to turn it back on. Your iPad will go through its startup process, which might take a moment. This often solves the problem. If not, don't worry. There are other steps you can take to troubleshoot. We have more tricks up our sleeve. From checking for software updates to resetting settings, there are several methods to explore. Sometimes, a software update can fix persistent issues. Make sure your iPad is running the latest version of iOS. If all else fails, you can try resetting your iPad settings. This won't delete your data, but will revert settings to their defaults. With these steps, your iPad should be back to working smoothly. Remember, a simple restart is often the best place to start. Did you know a dirty screen can cause unresponsiveness? Dirt, grime, and fingerprints interfere with the touch sensors. Use a soft, lint-free cloth to clean your iPad screen. Microfiber cloths work best. Avoid using harsh cleaners or paper towels. These can scratch the screen. Gently wipe the screen in circular motions. Now, try using your iPad again. Section 4. Update your iPad. An outdated iOS can sometimes cause touchscreen problems. Apple regularly releases updates. These updates often contain bug fixes and performance improvements. Make sure your iPad is connected to Wi-Fi. Go to Settings and then General. Tap on Software Update. If an update is available, download and install it. Keeping your iPad updated ensures it runs smoothly. It also helps prevent future issues. Section 5. Check for iPad damage. Sometimes, physical damage can cause touchscreen problems. Carefully inspect your iPad for any cracks or dents. Check the screen, especially the edges and corners. Also, examine the back of the iPad for any signs of damage. If you find any damage, contact Apple Support or visit an Apple Store. They can help you with repair or replacement options. At Section 6. Still not working. If you've tried all these steps and your iPad touchscreen is still not working, don't worry. There are still options available to you. It's important to stay calm and remember that technology can sometimes be unpredictable. Apple support can provide further assistance. They have a dedicated team of professionals who are trained to handle a wide range of technical issues. You can contact them online or by phone. Their online support includes live chat options, email support, and a comprehensive FAQ section that might have the answers you need. They have experts who can troubleshoot more complex issues. These experts have access to advanced diagnostic tools and can often identify problems that might not be immediately obvious. Sometimes a trip to the Apple Store is necessary. Visiting an Apple Store allows you to get hands-on assistance from a technician who can perform in-depth diagnostics on your device. They can diagnose the problem and offer repair solutions. Whether it's a software issue or a hardware malfunction, the technicians at the Apple Store are equipped to handle it. Remember, technology can be tricky. It's not uncommon to encounter issues that require professional help. Don't be afraid to ask for help from the experts. 
They are there to assist you and ensure that your device is functioning properly. Whether it's through online support, a phone call, or an in-person visit, help is always available.